Let's talk facial hair. It may look that I have really lovely smooth skin. To achieve this look is not actually very easy, especially because I have a problem that is common to most African Caribbean women to some degree or another, but to some Afro Caribbean women, this issue is more a problem than others and that is the issue of facial hair and I'm not talking about one or two hairs I'm talking about full facial hair now it can happen for a variety of reasons for some people they were just born that way but others it can be because of polycystic ovaries it can be problems with various other hormonal issues for me the problem that triggered this issue with facial hair was having my thyroid removed and what they don't tell you when they remove your thyroid is that you could potentially become a man no okay all right so i'm not a man but i definitely have a lot more facial hair than before now at the beginning i was trying to pull out the hairs one by one and that left me with a lot of black marks on my face so i stopped doing that it was painful there were too many hairs to be able to pull out and I just decided in the end that it was just too much. I also looked into laser treatment and if you've got dark skin, laser treatment scars your skin. So again, that wasn't an option for me. And I got quite desperate. <laughs> Actually, it got to a point where I was in a group photo and someone happened to take a photo of slightly underneath my chin and all you could see was hair and I was just so embarrassed. And at that point, my husband said to me, look, um, why don't you consider shaving? And I was like, shaving? Seriously, <laughs> are you kidding me? Shaving? No, I'm not a man. And he said, look, honestly, shaving could be the answer. And he taught me to shave. Whew. Well, it was the best result I'd ever had. One thing I found with following his way of shaving was that my skin was really dry afterwards. I felt like, yes, it was smoother, but it felt sore. The other issue I had was that because I'd done such this, this be beautiful shave, the regrowth, ah, what an itch. Itch, 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 itch. I kept rubbing, 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 rubbing. And then I had all of these bumps where I kept rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And I thought, oh, I can't shave. I, I, I can't shave. This is too much to bear. But I persevered and I found out the key to doing a good shave that will leave your skin super soft and moisturized above all moisturized and that prevents the bumps when growing back and this is really important because with afro-caribbean hair the hair is curly so it can curl back under and that causes all the itching it causes the bumps it causes the ingrown hairs so this video I put together in order to help you if you have the same issue as me this will help you have smooth skin to deal with those facial hairs and to prevent the bumps the itching when your beard grows back this is growth after a few days as you can see i've got quite a lot of facial hair and it's coarse and thick which uh, leaves me prone to getting a lot of ingrown hairs can you imagine what a nightmare trying to pluck this here is the kit that i use when i'm shaving this first product that I'm showing you is Johnson's Baby Oil Gel, specifically gel. I have not been able to find another product on the market that can create such a good base for shaving. I used to use shaving foam more gel, but now I use a traditional soap and a badger hairbrush, which I find works a lot better. I always use a clean flannel, and in this case, uh, after shaving, I'm going to use argan oil to moisturize my face. And finally, I use a Gillette MAC 5 to give me a smooth shave. The best time to shave is directly after having had a shower or a bath, because this leaves the skin really soft. But if you haven't done that, then the other way you can soften up the skin and the hairs is by taking the hot flannel 
and resting it on your skin for some time. You're going to need to leave it on there for about five minutes to really soften the skin and the hairs. The softer the skin, the better the shave. After wetting my skin again with hot water, I apply the baby oil gel generously all over the area that I want to shave. This is absolutely essential if you want to have soft skin after you finish shaving and also it helps to prevent cuts during shaving. I find this traditional soap and brush provides a more slippery surface for the razor to go across. So lather up the soap well and then apply it generously all over the area that you want to shave. Once I've lathered up, I move on to the shave. It's so important to keep the razor wet and it's fundamental to use hot water, not cold water, hot water. The shaving technique is really important. I don't do lots of small strokes. I do one big swooping stroke from one side of the face to the other side of the face. I press down fairly firmly in order to get as close a shave as possible. The point of doing it this way is to make as few passes of the blade as possible. The razor blade gets gunked up quite quickly so I use just a nail brush to clean it between strokes. I find that if the shave is too close then when the hairs grow back I will get a lot of ingrown hairs because effectively the tips of the hair are beneath or at the same level as the skin. So the aim when shaving is to get a close shave but to make sure that the hairs are just slightly raised above the surface of the skin and that's why you don't want to do lots of strokes. So once I've done my first pass I run my finger across the areas that you can see are a little bit darker. I'm just trying to see if I managed to capture all of the hair in the blades. If not then I will actually shave those areas again. If you shave regularly enough, you shouldn't need to do two passes. Um, I haven't shaved in a while, so therefore I'm having to do a second pass. This time, however, I'm going across the skin um, much more lightly than before. Generally, I would recommend that you only do one pass, um, especially if you suffer with ingrown hairs. Once I'm happy with the level of smoothness of the skin, uh, I then immerse my skin in freezing cold water. This is really important to uh, close the pores and to make sure that the skin heals. Imagine you've got lots of tiny, 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 tiny little cuts on your face and you just want them to seal up as quick as possible. When drying my face, I make sure that I do not rub the skin, I just dab. Um, it's really important now to and protect the skin from damage. You will notice if you use the Johnson Baby Oil Gel that your skin feels soft, it feels moisturized. Even so, it's still important to put an additional moisturizer on the skin. And in this case, I'm using a pure product, um, pure argan oil. It's not advisable to use products with uh, chemicals or perfumes in them because they will irritate the skin. And as you can see, I just dab, 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 no rubbing. More than likely, you'll want to add makeup after shaving. Um, the skin does need to rest for a short while. So as you can see, I've got changed and that has given my skin opportunity just to rest after shaving. And now I'm applying a concealer using the dab technique in my finger in order to cover up the black marks that are on my face, which I got from trying to remove facial hair by plucking. Um, and then I apply a good foundation using a brush and I try not to rub the brush across the skin, but I dab, 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 dab until I get full coverage.
So that's me done. Beard, makeup and hair. I hope that this routine helps somebody who is probably struggling out there, who doesn't know what to do with their facial hair and like me was in a bad place but now can have the confidence of going out and not worrying. I really advise that you don't do your beard too often and that sometimes you let your beard grow back to give your skin some needed rest every two or three days. Follow this routine and you will certainly be more confident about how you look. If you have any questions, ask them below. I'm happy to respond. If you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Normally, I, I am reviewing wigs. This is Taylor by Main Concept. See you on my next video. Bye.